today we're going to be talking about red root um and that's because someone had asked me about red root um earlier in the week and so forth so i figured the day would be a good day to go ahead and get that done and give out this information to anyone who else whoever else is interested in this information so i got my little notes here so i don't forget anything uh, red root is a great herb uh, to take for certain things as other herbs are. Uh, each herb has its own health benefits and things like that. And then some herbs also do, um, like uh, some herbs do cover the same thing, like blood pressure. You have like several different herbs, medicines that do cover blood pressure and things like that. So uh, here we go. Um, let's see, this thing looks kind of dark. It is kind of cloudy outside, so I'm hoping this year, uh, video goes well. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. We're not going to hold you long. Just want to talk a little bit about red roots here. Uh, red root, it all does help aid the digestive system. That's one of the main things that people use red root for, uh, the digestive system, diarrhea, uh, and colds and things like that. Uh, it is also great for improving the blood flow. So there's another a great thing about that. Red root actually has a lot of antibacterial of, of benefits and so forth to it. Um, it is, and it, uh, it does have antibacterial effects. Um, and it's uh, very beneficial for your lymphatic system. And it's also beneficial for your, um, let's see, it, yeah, yeah, the lymphatic system. And it also helps reduce the risk of genetic mutation. That's what I was trying to read to get to that little part there. And it also helps to the detox and so forth. Um, but again, also red root can be used as a tonic, which is really great if you're going to be using uh, red root for the digestive system. Tonic would be great to use it for because the tonics are usually pretty strong and so forth. And also they're bitter and they work faster and so forth, things like that. Even though you can get red root in a capsule form, uh, like I said, uh, for the digestive system, things like that, you want to um, uh, use it as a tonic. Okay, for colds, um, things like that. Oh, fever, uh, it's also good for fever, reducing fever. Um, you may want to drink it as a tea. Also, you can do, um, you can drink red, red root as a tea. So red root actually comes in at least three formulations. You can get capsule form, tonics, and also uh, herbal tea and so far to help you depending on what your system um, has and so forth, what your situation is uh, and all that. And again, it also, one of the main things too, it in, help improve blood flow. And when we talk about improving blood flow, we are talking about something major because uh, as the blood flows through our bodies and so forth, it helps us to um, continue on a normal path, of, you know, and things like that. But then once we do have slow blood clog, slow blood moving, blood clog, that's when we move into some really serious issues and things like that. So you want to keep your blood flowing um in every part of your body and so far because if you don't keep the blood flowing in every part of your body you'll kind of notice that that part is going to end up dead removed and things like that and you don't want that and so far so we want to stay healthy and we want to learn as much as we can about any herbal medicine or any medicine really that is going to help us and so forth to stay healthy keep things going and you know things like that so that is really, really important. And that's what this channel is about, is just giving out this information and so forth. So that it may help someone, uh, you know, to live a better life and things like that. So I'm very excited about that um, aspect of uh, doing these videos and so forth. So we're going to do a recap real quick and so forth about what Red Root do. And of course, I'm going to leave you the uh, websites and stuff down um, in the description and things like that and also too i will also put in that do your own research do some research <laughs> you know do some research and so far uh on your own and so forth to make sure this is the right area for you and for your situation things like that okay treats uh the digestive system which again is uh i found out you know that uh most people do use this um uh, red root four 
and the best way to use red roots and stuff for if you are having digestive system um digestive issues and you're really not having any other problems and the digestive system issues in the, this country is really really great and uh i can say that because i am in that you know and that uh, in that issue as well okay so um you can like i said use it better to use it as a tonic to help the digestive system Although it includes the blood flow, it gives um, AIDS and colds, fevers, and things like that. And for colds, fevers, and improving blood flow, um, you can use a uh, formulating of the tea. Um, now, with the blood flow, you can use both um, either a tonic or a tea or capsule and so forth. As long as you get that in to help keep that going and things like that, that is going to be something great. Uh, for you, um, uh, yeah, it helps to reduce. Oh, okay, and uh, it also I missed some things. It also is great for sore throats, uh, veneer, uh, let's see, is it skin, sore throats, skin malignants, venereal sores, and wound bleeding, and so forth. So, those are a couple things that's why you need notes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and it's great for those things as well. And we do have, uh, again, sore throats, uh, skin, malignant, venereal sores, and wound healing. Okay, so that means that the antibacterial uh, effects really helps with these issues and things like that. And again, you can uh, use this here, uh, red root, um, for all these issues and it's also um great to help with the lymphatic system and it's also like um the book said research say it also helps reduce genetic mut mutations and things like that so this is a great herb it's a power herb. it is a bitter it uh if you're going to use it as a tonic it is a bitter it. uh tea you may want to put a little honey in there uh to soften the bitter taste and things like that for capsules, you don't really have to do anything but just take them. Um, so this we talked about is red root um, health benefits and so far that's going to help you and all that. So this is Hunan and um, I hope to be back next Wednesday with more uh, information on another herb to help you to live a wellness life and so far again that's what this uh channel is for it's just giving out that information and before i go um you know do if you have any of those sy symptoms and things like that um fever slow blow or blood flow cold digestive system um uh, and things like that um if you have uh, sores or wounds that's not healing and things like that uh, try using that red root and so far and before you do make sure that you do some research uh, seek a herbs or healthcare provider and so forth because this is uh, kind of a really really strong herb and if you are taking traditional medicine and so forth you want to make sure that um, the red root herbal medicine herbal medicine is not going to have any bad interaction with anything that you may be traditionally taking so take that in mind and do your research if you have any questions about any of this and so far uh you can go to the um my website which is eight it's long i'll just put it in the description box go to that and get more information because usually i do a full detail information uh on the particular herbs that we are selling from that our website and so forth or just go and google it together and do your own research and so forth and find out as much as you can before you actually even start on that and until next wednesday i'll see you then bye